I can run as fast as I can to breakfast with Bob. It's breakfast with Bob. Pacho Man! Yeah. Thanks everybody for joining us at Breakfast with Bob. We are brought to you by Hoka One One Polar Halo, Neuro, Halo Neuroscience, VeloFix, Today's Plan, Norma Tech, Four Seasons Resort, Hualalai, streaming on Triathlete Magazine as well as on our Facebook page. And we are at beautiful Huggos on the Rocks. And speaking of legends of our sport, right next to me, a woman who has been all over the podium here, Heather Jackson. <laughs> Got all your family and friends here. Yeah, thanks for coming out. <laughs> we're, we're just chatting that this, this race has changed so much. The competition is so deep that it used to be people were spread out by a couple of minutes here and there. I think between 7th and 11th place this last year was a, a minute 19 seconds separating the, like five women. Right. Mm -hmm. So you've been spending a lot of time in the energy lab, basically, <laughs> because, you know, it's going to come down to that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I think that's a key part of the race for sure. It's going to come down to the run and just um, who can battle it out. That, that final section, I guess, for me, it, that was kind of a pivotal moment last year. And I've been replaying that in my head all year long. Just uh, I had a battle last year with Sarah Crowley for that final third right. spot that I was yeah just trying to get back on that podium last year and so she yeah she had it there she had a little bit more than me she got a gap and I still replay that and um so yeah I just I liked running out there and just kind of mentally picturing uh when you're coming into it it's mile 16 and then when you're on your way out it's mile 19 so that's really um if you can get to mile 16 uh, feeling okay and then can turn it on that that's the final 10 miles there so yeah like you said it's comes down to can come down to seconds really so, so <laughs> and the fact that you're racing that you're side by side racing after eight hours right it, had you done that before in one of these races where you're basically going back and forth with Sarah and then you had Kaisa Sally before that you're battling there and it's it's hard you're basically a 10k to go or you know seven eight miles to go and you are full-on racing side mm -hmm. by side yeah definitely um i had never had that before um i didn't grow up racing itu or some of those shorter nice. distance where that's very common and girls have that experience i've never really had that for me it's always been i just do my race i know what i can do and do my pacing and i think even um two years the year i got third i was in second for a while and rinny was coming and i was just like kind of laughing in my head of course she's coming she's gonna go by and I had Joe and Wadi like focus like pull on to her like <laughs> battle her and I was just like oh, la 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 like not <laughs> it was just I was just doing my thing and versus like now I think just having another couple years at this distance and then also um, last year's experience and then I had another experience this year in Chattanooga with Meredith Kessler just actually be feeling like comfortable battling or having confidence that I could go harder for a, a set amount of time and and that's racing and not blow up versus like I'm always like okay like this feels what I can do so now it's for me it's just another year of experience of having last year under my belt and now Chattanooga and I had a couple others like that this year um, just being ready to race and battle at this longer distance and feeling okay with I guess yeah going for it versus Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is good. I've got a pace. I'm yeah. just going to stay right here. It's not a problem. So you've been down in Arizona, and Maddie Reed came in, right? Big Maddie Reed, and was working with you on the swim. Has that been helpful? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big believer in things happening for a reason, and Maddie's been a friend for a long time, and he just randomly reached out um, to Wadi to check in and say hi, and um, he had nothing really going on and Wadi's like why don't you come out and help Heather like come swim with her because she just swims alone and for me the swim's always been a struggle and I go down to Tucson for the heat for the conditions and the training but I train alone and I think that's good I get in my my mindset I've got Wadi on every bike and run with me but the swim I just swim alone right. and so to have um Matt come down and then we also ended up having a bigger group. Joe came out um, for a week to work with me and then I also had Lindsay Corbin out, yes. Rachel McBride, Bag and VT. So this was the first year that I actually had like a, a camp, a group around yeah, me yeah. and for me the biggest thing is the swim and that's always been my weakest year and it's set me apart from say being in that that earlier group and so something needed to change for that and um, 
so yeah, it was, I think it was a great camp in terms of just having that support in the water and working on the swim, which is my weakest. Now, we haven't had an American-born woman <laughs> win this race since Karen Smyers in 1995. It's a long time. What will it take <laughs> for that to be you? Ooh. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no Come pressure. On. Come on. There's nobody here. Yeah. We have nobody. This is just you and I. We're just <laughs> chatting. What did it take to win a race? Come on. <laughs> And a lot of luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that would be inc absolutely incredible for sure. To if that that would be a dream come true for me. It would, but yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of luck, a lot of uh, things coming together sure. on the day for sure. But <laughs> so this summer you win Lake Placid, and Lake Placid, when you were a hockey player, believe it or not, this woman was was forty pounds heavier and would check all of you guys out into the ocean, <laughs> right? With without even thinking twice, she just. Cross check, you'd be all done. So being back there, and that's where you were doing camp, right, as part of the Team USA. Mm -hmm. Being back there and winning there again, how special was that? Oh, yeah, that was, that race is, uh, there's two or three races out there that are my absolute favorites, Wildflower right. and Placid, really, and then here. So, I mean, for it to be the women's race again, I'm. they haven't announced yet. I'm fingers crossed it's women's race again, but they keep rotating. But, right. Um, yeah, that, that town means a lot to me. Uh, for me, it's I didn't make my Olympic dream there. I didn't make the final team that year. I was trying for the 06 game. So for me to be back there and I guess kind of not make up for it in triathlon, sure. but um, yeah, just be back into the town and be able to to uh, do well in triathlon there was, was awesome. It's Yeah, I love going back there. The town's great. Everyone comes out. and Right. So, yeah, it, it was awesome. And also it was more, um, we went back to my lead-in two years ago where I did, I tried Boulder last year where it was a June Ironman, and I felt like I maybe got out of the Ironman, not, my, not Ironman mindset, but I liked where Placid was in July where it's very fresh in your mind what went on in that race and wh where I could work on um, mm -hmm in the full distance racing. And so I recovered from it and then we went right into my Kona block. So it was very fresh, the whole block, this whole eight weeks, um, Joe and I were like Ironman pacing the final, you know, final part of the run, just the key things that are so more, much more important than the full than the half distance. Right. And I know you love racing. Is it hard not to, you know, 70.3 worlds, right? You've done really, really well there. Hard to say, okay, I'm all in all eggs in the basket for Kona. And I'm not going to go to South Africa, or last year you're not going to go there and, and do that. <laughs> you know, it, it just, it, is it hard not to do a race like that, that really 70.3 is a great distance for you? Yeah, I love the halves. Um, I was super tempted last year for Chattanooga, Yeah, um, for sure. It was, it was a lot to, to not go to that one. This year, uh, I mean, we were just with the travel to South Africa, and then... The sharks and I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, it wasn't. It was. It's a pretty far travel for that one. But yeah, Chattanooga was definitely tough to say no to last year. I love that distance. Um, that's not to say uh, next year it's in Nice. Um, it is super tough timing because I love. This is my goal race. This is right. And it would take away from that Nice. I almost went to Nice for the full this year. I want to do that course, that race at some point. So whether that's next year um right. we'll see but that one is super tempting as well just with the tough bike course looks it looks like a great great race so so you started <laughs> you started out on this island as an age grouper then you've turned pro and you've been here a lot now what is it about this place that agrees with you because you've had a lot of success here thanks <laughs> um i don't know i just think it's a tough it's a tough course i do better on tough courses like hillier the hillier the bike and the hillier the run for, um is better for me um for me here it's you don't know what you're going to get in terms of the conditions so you need to be mentally ready and mentally tough and um i think i'm able to to draw on that side of uh the mental side for things here and for me also too it's just i hone i can hone in on a race and when i say this is the race i want to go after um, that's it. It's my entire focus. It's been my focus all year, but also I guess from Placid on. So I think it's just being able to focus in on one goal, put all the pressure on that and I'm putting everything towards it. So I think that's, I guess, contributed to just coming here and I make sure I'm ready for this day wow. each year. <laughs> How about a round of applause for Heather Jackson? <laughs> Mr. Pancho Man! I can't
Ha, 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 ha,